It's not only people that need protection, places do too. The vault is protected by the building's security system. They're a little easier to protect, of course, given they're not roaming the planet. Some of these places are obvious, like banks. The facility has racks and racks of data storage systems. But did you know that wildlife sanctuaries and even rivers are highly protected? I didn't. From the multi-billion dollar illegal wildlife trade industry to the infamous Gold Vault in New York, here are 15 most heavily protected places on Earth. Number 15. Olpajeta. A not-for-profit wildlife sanctuary set in central Kenya's Laikipia County on the equator west of Naniuki, the Olpajeta covers a massive 140 square miles. Here, work to conserve wildlife is undertaken and has proven a safe haven for great apes, chimpanzees, and black rhinos, amongst other endangered animals. The illegal wildlife trade is a multi-billion dollar industry, with the Kenyan government passing a special act in 2013 promising harsher penalties for those found guilty of poaching and smuggling. This tough new attitude is reflected in Olpajeta's anti-poaching units. These units are made up of an armed ranger team and cutting-edge anti-poaching drones. Olpajeta boasts the largest black rhino sanctuary in East Africa, with a population of 100. It also houses the two remaining northern white rhino in the world and provides a haven for orphaned, abandoned, and rescued chimpanzees. All animals are free to move in and out of the sanctuary by way of specially constructed game corridors that only restrict the movement of rhinos as they are endangered for being slaughtered for their horn. The rhino horn and ivory trade is a multi-billion dollar industry, meaning poachers are becoming increasingly brazen. Protecting the wildlife from these criminals and installing extra security and anti-poaching measures is an expensive business. It costs 17,300 US dollars per square kilometer to keep Old Pajeta secure each year. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Federal Reserve Bank of New York. With a gold vault on the basement floor of its main office building in Manhattan, the Federal Reserve Bank of New York pulls no punches when it comes to security. This vault was built during the construction of the building in the early 1920s. It provides a secure location for private account holders to store their monetary gold reserves. None of the gold stored belongs to the bank. It simply acts as a guardian to it. A significant portion of the gold has been sitting in the vault since World War II, with many countries keen to have it in a safe location. Holdings in the gold vault peaked in 1973. Shortly after the United States suspended convertibility of dollars into gold for foreign governments. At its peak, the vault housed over 12,000 tons. However, due to a steady decline, it contains just over 6,000 tons. To keep these gold bars secure, around-the-clock security inside the vault includes two members of the New York Fed Gold Vault staff and one member from the New York Fed Internal Audit staff. Each person must be present whenever gold is moved within or removed from the vault, ensuring maximum security of the precious metal at all times. Number 13. Fort Knox, USA. The saying, locked up like Fort Knox, had to come from somewhere, and that somewhere is Fort Knox itself. Situated in the United States, Fort Knox is the most heavily guarded place on the planet. Officially known as the United States Bullion Depository, Fort Knox was constructed in 1937 and is home to about half of the country's gold reserves. So it's understandable that it's a seriously secure unit. 
Fort Knox, the world's biggest bank. Surrounded by a steel fence with a core made of concrete lined granite and reinforced steel, this building can withstand any attack, with the United States Treasury saying it's equipped with the latest and most modern protective device. What these devices are remains a mystery, but rumor has it that the grounds surrounding the depository are surrounded by landmines and electric fences. Machine guns are also poised to go off when a laser is triggered, so you'd have to be pretty stupid to even attempt a break-in. A radar keeps watch over the area, and so too do several guards. These guards are sharpshooters too, spending significant amounts of time in the Fort Knox shooting range. And if you're still not convinced and think it might be a good idea to break into this virtual fortress, 40,000 soldiers located at the Fort Knox Army Post share the same site. If, by some miracle, you do get inside the building, the door to the vault is made of steel and concrete and weighs more than 20 tons. No single person knows the combination either, so good luck. Number 12. To Moon River. A 521 kilometer long river serves as part of the boundary between China, North Korea, and Russia. The Tu Moon River flows in Northeast Asia on the border in its upper reaches and between North Korea and Russia in its last 17 kilometers before entering the Sea of Japan. The river is considered the preferred way to cross into China as it is shallow and narrow. In fact, in some areas, refugees can be safely crossed on foot, particularly during winter when it freezes. Although mainly used by refugees, it is often crossed illegally by soldiers and others seeking food and money. North Korea is a closed country, so this border acts as the gateway for most of North Korea's trade with the outside world. There are about 25 million North Koreans and 15 official crossing points on the 14,000 kilometer long border. It's obvious that keeping it secure can be difficult, with several noticeable gaps in in the barbed wire fencing, some held back with rags to allow people to pass through. Military and police are stationed at the border with access so restricted that many ordinary North Koreans are having difficulty even going outside. A vetting process introduced in early 2017 means residents are questioned even when looking for firewood or farming in fields. Number 11. The White House, USA. Being the official residence and workplace of the President of the United States, it's not surprising that the White House is heavily protected. Designed by Irish-born architect James Hoban, the neoclassical styled building located at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington, D.C. was completed in 1800. Thomas Jefferson moved into it in 1801. In 1814, the mansion was set ablaze by the British Army during the War of 1812. This act destroyed the interior and charred much of the exterior. Reconstruction was almost completed by 1817 when President James Monroe moved in and several changes and extensions have been made since, including the semicircular south and north porticos. With 33 known attempts on the lives of sitting U.S. presidents, being leader is a dangerous job. It also requires a lot more than just armed guards and motion-activated cameras to ensure no one succeeds. Background checks are performed on all visitors, with a 21-day advance tour notice required. The windows at the White House are all bulletproof. <laughs> and there are infrared laser sensors surrounding every inch of the building's perimeter. They spot everything in the sky, on the ground, and even underneath the White House. Washington, D.C. is also a no-fly zone, except for the occasional roving security camera drone. The fence is an 11-foot-tall, vehicle-stopping, climb-resistant behemoth of steel and rebar. And then there are the men and women of the Secret Service. These guys are constantly thinking of ways to counteract or deal with literally any other scenario a would-be threat could conjure up. Number 10. 
Area 51, Nevada, USA. Area 51 refers to a highly classified United States Air Force facility. It is located at Groom Lake in the Nevada desert, 85 miles north of Las Vegas. Named after the salt flat situated next to its airfield, Groom Lake is a dry lake bed that, although visible on satellite images, is illegal to fly over. Everything that goes on at the Air Force Base is extremely top secret, with members of the public warned to stay away. Electronic surveillance and armed guards ensure no unwanted visitors venture inside. The facility has runways up to 2.3 miles long and covers more than 2.9 million acres of land. It is located beside two other restricted military areas, the Nevada Test Site and the Nevada Test and Training Range. Area 51 opened in 1955 during the Cold War between the US and the Soviet Union. It was established as a testing and development facility for aircraft, including the U-2 and SR-71 Blackbird reconnaissance planes. Believed to be used by the US military to develop cutting-edge aircraft, Area 51 is classified as a Military Operating Area, or MOA. Although borders aren't fenced, there are trespassing notices, and security patrol the area and are permitted to use deadly force if necessary. Number 9. Svalbard Global Seed Vault, Norway. It might come as a bit of a surprise to the keen gardener that there's actually a special vault for seeds on the Norwegian island of Spitsbergen. The vault, established by conservationist Kerry Fowler and an international agricultural research group, is a secure seed bank built to preserve a wide variety of plant seeds. These seeds are spare copies of others held in gene banks worldwide. The seed vault helps protect against the loss of seeds in other gene banks during large-scale regional or global crises, and is funded by the Norwegian government, who forked out a whopping 8.8 .8 million US dollars to build it. It is free to store seeds in the vault, which was completed in 2008. Today, there are a total of 400,000 seed samples in in the vault from approximately one-third of the world's most important food crop varieties. It's no surprise, therefore, that the security of the vault is integral to the future of crops worldwide. With that in mind, the vault has been designed for water intrusion, is heat-proof, is situated in a remote location, and is impossible to enter. Tour groups are, however, invited to view the seed vault's exterior, where they can take photos. The facade is awe-inspiring, and features an artwork by Devecki San, so it is well worth the trip. Number 8. Granite Mountain Records Vault Located in the mountains near Salt Lake City, Utah, is the world's largest collection of genealogical records. These records are housed in the secure Granite Mountain Records Vault, constructed by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in 1965. They are significant to the church and provide protection to a vast collection of family history microfilms, microfiche, and digital media. The vault safeguards and preserves more than 3.5 billion images in various forms, and although they're not able to be accessed by the public, the church is in the process of digitizing many records for availability through FamilySearch.org. These images have been collected through agreements with archives, libraries, and churches from more than 100 countries, so are considered extremely precious and personally valuable. Accessed via a narrow, gated driveway, the vault is protected inside a mountain of granite and is monitored by security cameras and armed guards. The vault is climate controlled and said to be resistant to earthquake, fire, or flood, but the proprietors fall short of saying it would survive a nuclear blast. Hopefully, we never have to find out. Number 7 Bold Lane Car Park, Derby, UK. Who would have thought that a multi-story car park would be listed as one of the most secure places in the world? 
A 10-floor car parking building with 440 bays located in Bold Lane, Derby in the UK is so well secured that it hasn't seen one theft or one case of vandalism in over six years. According to a study published in science magazine Focus, that makes it unique. Bold Lane Car Park was designed by agricultural engineer Ken Wigley, who had previously had issues with vandalism and theft from his car while parked in an airport car park. Sophisticated technology including CCTV cameras, panic buttons, entry doors, barcoded tickets, and super sharp patented sensors that spot if a parked car moves even a little when it shouldn't be, guarantees the safety of both motorists and their vehicles. Now that's smart. Described as a hostile place for car thieves and vandals, the multi-story car park has all the bells and whistles, plus much more. Each parking space has its own numerical code, and if that isn't punched in and the car moves, the whole place locks down. Imagine that. There's also no chance of a pedestrian rocking in off the street and smashing the ticket machine either. They simply can't gain access to the car park unless unless they have the ticket from when that particular car entered the building. It seems that Bull Lane Car Park is a no-go zone for burglars. Number 6. Bank of England Gold Vault The central bank of the UK and the model on which most central banks are based, the Bank of England is also one of the two largest gold custodians in the world. The first is the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. The Bank of England is the world's eighth oldest bank and is located in London's main financial district, the City of London, on Threadneedle Street. In 2018, one-fifth of all the gold in the world was held in the Bank of England vault, amounting to roughly 400,000 gold bars. Valued at well over 200 billion US dollars, the gold includes all the UK's gold reserves as well as gold for other countries and businesses. To ensure the gold is safe from light-fingered culprits, the vault is encased in concrete, and there is both a comprehensive electronic security system fitted and physical security guards outside its entry. To this day, the bank claims the vault has never been robbed. Considering it was built in 1734, that's a pretty good record if you ask me. Number 5. The Demilitarized Zone Between South and North Korea A 2.5-mile wide buffer stretching across the Korean peninsula acts as a border barrier that divides the peninsula roughly in half. The Korean Demilitarized Zone, or DMZ, was created by agreement between North Korea, China, and the United Nations Command in 1953. It measures 160 miles long and is lined on both sides with razor wire, heavy artillery, and tank traps. Inside the DMZ is a Joint Security Area JSA, that acts as a meeting point between the two nations and is where negotiations take place. It has been the location of various incidents between military and civilians, resulting in several casualties. The so-called Peace Village of Panmunjom that consists of a cluster of distinctive bright blue buildings is where the armistice that halted the Korean War was signed in 1953. It is located in the 800 meter wide and 400 meter long JSA zone and once hosted US President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Vast stretches of the DMZ have been left abandoned for more than 60 years. Others offer an unsettling mix of military installations and tourist attractions. These tourist attractions fetched more than 135,000 tourists in 2017 alone. It is believed that there are about 160 North Korean guards and 60 South Korean guards posted along the DMZ at any one time. It is also littered with as many as 970,000 landmines. That might simply be a rumor, but I wouldn't be taking my chances, would you? Number 4. ADX Florence Prison 
Classed as a super max prison, this American federal prison provides a higher level of custody than a maximum security prison and houses male prisoners only. The United States Penitentiary Administrative Maximum Facility, known unofficially as ADX Florence, is situated 5,000 feet above sea level on a barren expanse of land at the foothills of Colorado's Southern Rockies. Best described by those who have been there as hell on earth, this prison is home to the most dangerous criminals in the U.S. federal prison system. It is also the most secure in the country. Only those convicted of the most violent crimes are sent to ADX Florence, where they live their days in solitary confinement under the tightest security restrictions imaginable. Not that anyone would feel sorry for the inmates, but even the building looks grim. It makes a formidable sight with its towering razor wire fences and watchtowers equipped with armed sharpshooters. And for those contemplating escape, the exterior surroundings aren't exactly inviting either, as the prison is set within high desert terrain that is dry, treeless, rocky, and unforgiving. Good luck to any escape artist that makes it out alive, I say. Number 3. RAF Menwith Hill, UK a Royal Air Force station near Harrogate, North Yorkshire, England, provides both communications and intelligence support services to the UK and the US. RAF Menwith Hill contains an extensive satellite ground station and acts as a communications intercept and missile warning site. It is one of the United States' most important overseas bases and is supported by around 400 staff. Technically an RAF base, the site plays an integral role in the broader strategy of U.S. global power projection and is operated and controlled by the National Security Agency, or NSA. It is effectively the NSA's largest overseas spying base. President Truman secretly established the base in 1952, primarily for the interception of electronic communications, both military and commercial. However, operations rapidly expanded during the Cold War to include intelligence analysis as well. Essentially, Menwith Hill is run as an American enclave with its facilities surrounded by rolling green fields. Very few signs of the facility exist, except for the massive, white, golf ball-like domes protruding from the earth. The area is protected behind a perimeter fence topped with razor wire. Menwith Hill is patrolled 24 hours a day by armed British military police and monitored by cameras perched on posts that peer down on almost every section of the 10-foot perimeter fence. Number 2. Woomera Prohibited Area Located in South Australia, approximately 450 kilometers northwest of Adelaide, this major military and civil aerospace facility is operated by the Royal Australian Air Force, or RAAF. The complex sits on a globally unique military testing range of 122,188 square kilometers of land, and its airspace is highly restricted for safety and security. The Woomera Prohibited Area WPA, is a key element of the Woomera Range Complex. It was established to administer non-defense use of the Woomera Prohibited Area and is part of the RAAF base. The Woomera Range Complex is an important defense capability and testing and evaluation asset that plays a significant role in Australia's national security. It is also the largest land testing range in the world. After use of the WPA declined during the 1980s and 90s, it was opened up to non-defense users. However, since the late 90s, it has been used for the testing and evaluations of weapon systems again. Access for non-defense personnel is still permitted. It just requires Commonwealth approval and provided defense activities are not to be unduly compromised. Number 1. Surtsey, Iceland Surtsey is a volcanic island located off the southern coast of Iceland. It measures 141 hectares and was formed by volcanic eruptions that took place between 1963 and 1967. Since then, it has been heavily protected. 
It provides the world with a pristine natural laboratory free from human intervention. Circe has been producing unique long-term information on the colonization process of new land by plant and animal life for almost 60 years. Since scientists began studying the area, they have observed the arrival of seeds carried by ocean currents, the appearance of molds, bacteria, and fungi. In 1965, they discovered the first vascular plant of which there were 10 species in just the first decade. By 2004, this number had significantly multiplied and was in the 60s. In addition to bryophytes, lichens, and fungi, 335 types of invertebrates and 890 species of bird have been recorded on the island. Human disruption is minimized, with no visitors allowed. This includes divers entering waters by the island. Nearby construction is also strictly controlled to ensure Surtsey's natural features are not disturbed. There are certain places on this planet that require a little extra care to be taken of them, extra security measures, if you will. Most of these aren't the traditional brick-building, four-walls type places either. Some are literally places like islands and lakes. Who would have thought? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.